Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. And I don't speak French, so let's just cut that out right there. But I do speak fashion. And I speak a little bit of makeup. And so I wanted to create this Rihanna inspired look inspired by her Vogue Paris cover because it was very beautiful, very simple and timeless, but very chic um, with the accessories. And I created this veil and also this bow. I recorded it so you can see it and make one for yourself if you so choose. I keep moving this veil because it keeps getting caught in my eyelashes. Yeah, yeah, okay. While you're here, if you can hit the like button and the subscribe button, it would make me so happy as you continue to watch my video. The first thing you'll need is Russian netting. You need to get about enough to cover your face. So I got five eighths of a yard, which is just a little bit over 22 inches. And this is enough to wrap around my head. So it goes past both my ears when it's wrapped on. Then you'll need two hairpins. And there's two ways that you can make this. That's four. You need two. There's two ways that you can make this. The most traditional way to make a veil of Russian netting is to sew it to a comb like this. Now, these combs are not good for curly hair. Maybe they're better for straight hair, but... For curly hair, it will snatch your hair out, and I learned the hard way, so I don't use these. But the plastic ones are much better if you have curly, more textured hair. And what you would do is you'd gather it with thread, and then once you have it gathered, you'd sew it in between the teeth around it and then it would be sturdy. And you would do that for the other end as well. But today, I will be doing it the easy way, which is taking the hairpin, and you're gonna open it just slightly so you get one of the little teeth there. And I'm just gonna weave it through. I don't know if you can see that, but make it better, okay. So you're going to weave it through over and under every one of the, the black dots. I'm just going to pull it down as you pull. So once you get down to the end, it's going to look like that. Then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. Tape it again, start weaving it through. Now you want to make sure that you're weaving it through a full diamond because if you do it up here, the pin is just going to fall off. So you have to do it on this full row in and out of a diamond, of each diamond, should I say. So I'm going to take it under, over, under, over, under, over. Now, once you get it like that, it will be pretty secure. It's not going to go anywhere unless you lengthen it. But to secure it, I mean, you can sew it. But to make it easier, and put a dot right at the end. And that way, it's going to secure it. Now, protect your fingers because you know that glue going to burn. Just a dot at the end. Okay. It doesn't go anywhere. Actually, it's not as hot as I thought, but still, caution. Alright, so now 
you can see I have one functional and these are the glue sticks. It doesn't look that great, but for what I'm doing, it's perfect. Other side. And this one is better because it has less edge there. Good job to secure. And as it cools, what I just did is rolled it in my finger. I'm just going to go in on that other side and cut the excess off. So, there you have it. Russian net. Mm -hmm. The ribbon. We need one hair clip pretty large hair clip at that. You see this is my thumb. It's about the whole size of my thumb. And then you need a felt. I already went ahead with my black felt and made a square, cut a square large enough so that it fits this black clip. Now we're going to need scissors because first you need to cut the square but also you want to make that square into a circle. So you fold so you fold the square into fourths and cut it pretty close to a circle. Now that didn't come out <laughs> nowhere shape look like a circle. But we're gonna perfect it. Now what you need to do is arrange your bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it to look as close to Rihanna's as possible. Now you can glue this together layer by layer, but I'm just gonna run it through my sewing machine since I already have it arranged. So now, let me show you what I put on the sewing machine. So I sewed it right down the middle here. And um, I like sewing it just because it's giving it a flatter, more finished look. But if you, by all means, you can glue it down if you want. So now, I'm just going in and I want to just create some more fullness in the bowl. So just playing around with it. I never, this is the first time when I never, didn't try this before. really full and abstract. So I'm gonna just put this on the sewing machine again. So it could stay. Now I'm back. This big, beautiful, lovely bow. I don't know if I wanna make these ties even or leave them. I think I'm just gonna cut them a little bit shorter. Now, what you can do, next step is to glue this to the felt, right? Glue the bow to the felt. But I'm going to just sew straight down. I looked in the mirror and I love how the bow looks. I realized that I want, I want the clip to go there and for the felt to be a smaller towards the size of the clip. 
So first I'm gonna glue this down so I know where to cut. So I'm gonna open my clip and I see that I do not want glue anywhere on the bottom of the clip, only want it on top. So close it back, put a dot of glue there on the end, each end. Ooh, it's smoking. Okay, then you put it upside down on the felt. You can hold it in place as it dries. And now that it's down and pretty dry, what you're gonna do is unclip it like that. Put some glue on the bottom. So you're not gonna close it, you're just gonna press up. And separate that so that it closes. Now once it's dry, mine isn't really dry, but <laughs> I'm going ahead. So you're just gonna cut this, making sure not to cut any of the ribbon. I'm going to cut around, I'm not gonna use these scissors, these are not good, so I'm sick. Do cut around it. I'm gonna oval closer, as close to the clip as you'd like it to go. I'm gonna do the same, same thing for the other side. Still making sure that you're holding the bow so you don't cut any of the ribbon. So now there you go. Boom! We got our bow, and it's clipping. Perfectly fine, that'll fit in your hair beautifully. So, we got our ribbon and we got our Russian netting. Now, we can get into this look. So, I think she did pretty well. She did pretty good. I feel like I'm on the cover of Vogue. It's never gonna happen, but you know, we can all dream. Also, this tutorial is especially, not only just for fashionistas, but if you're getting married anytime soon, or you're gonna be in a wedding, or you know, if you just go to fancy tea parties, and whatever the case may be, you can use this beautiful veil. You can make it in different color netting, um, but if you're a bride, obviously you put make it in white, get the bow, put it in white, and you got a look for your wedding day. So, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back. Once again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.